we continue to look for ways to trade Bitcoin futures, and this is Bitcoin Cash. It's an IntraTrader 8 platform. There's a plug-in so that you can plug into a couple of different exchanges and get historical data. And you could start here um, with two years of historical data from Poloniex. It gets a bit spotty back here, back in uh, October of 2015. The price is also much lower. And so my SR countertrend gold strategy works. It needs to be adjusted so that it works on a percentage basis because the rate of change in Bitcoin um, will be much greater than most markets that we see to go from 275 two years ago to you know 16 17,000 now is a huge change uh, 20 times um, 30 times more than than the normal price and so but you see it's got positive results um, the data is a lot you know more spotty now but using a um, let's see what what $500 stop loss. Now we've got a $600 stop loss, $800 profit target, just the same way we have for gold. So we're trading one Bitcoin contract, and um, you get just trading one Bitcoin contract, 17 trades for the last two years, um, two years and two months, 17 trades, $523 average trade. And here is the analysis for this nice equity curve. It's going to work much better on a percentage basis because of the differences, the rate of change in price. Uh, you can't just use point values all the time. And so also needs to be adjusted for the contract size because if this thing goes to a million dollars, you may not have a million dollars to trade it with. And so you want to trade a partial contract. You can trade maybe, you know, uh, 5% of the contract, $50,000 worth, or 10% of the contract, $100,000 worth, and then take your, your profit target and stop loss based on a percentage of the contract size or your account size. And so that's the uh, adjustments that will be made. But right now, this is what we have. And in NinjaTrader, you can backtest this strategy. You can connect to the Poloniex data feed. You cannot automate this strategy. Here are some of the latest trades. This is long only. And in the cash market, you can only go long. Now in the futures, you can go short, but I don't recommend it right now. I don't recommend trading the futures yet, but you can trade the cash market with this type of strategy. Another strategy is VIX swing, and I'm going to pull that. Here is the crypto swing strategy. It's long only, and I'll show you the performance summary for this in IntraTrader 8. And, you know, going back two years, the data that I have here in, for Poloniex data feed, Trading one cryptocurrency is 14,126. Here is the equity curve. The reason it's done better in more recent markets is because the the prices have have been larger. The, the point values have been larger. Back here, you know, you're only moving, you know, the price is at 250. And so to capture a um, you know a profit target of 700 or stop loss of 800. Um, you know, it's just going to take much, much longer. So as the price increases, it's going to do better. And then at some point, the price will increase it so that these stop losses and profit targets are much too small for the value of the cryptocurrency. So it has to be adjusted on a percentage basis based on the speed of change in price in this market. And that's one of the things we're going to be doing to upgrade this. But this is how we have it now, and it can be adjusted now. And it's one way to... To get in and out is to buy these pullbacks and sell these rallies, and you can do that with this strategy. Again, um, this is just the strategy, and it's not automated, and you have more data in NinjaTrader because of this plugin. Um, there is a um, there's a data source in TradeStation. I'm going to show you that next. Here is dollar sign BRTI, which is the Bitcoin real time index. You could, it, it, it goes back to June of this year, so there's not as much data, but I've tested the SR counter trend on this strategy, and it, it also works very well. So it's a long only strategy. You can make the case that, well, it's gone straight up, so any long only strategy would work. And so um, that could be true. That I'm showing you what I have and what's worked on other markets, and um, you could potentially develop your own strategies knowing that. Um, buy and hold has obviously worked really well also. And uh, I'll have more resources for this for the cryptocurrencies markets available. We don't we're not able to backtest futures 
um, because there's only two days of data and so we don't really have enough and the, the liquidity is small so you have to just go based on the cash and the features could change and the, the strategies that work on the cash may not work on the futures and the strategies that work on the cash may not work on the cash going forward because markets change especially when liquidity picks up and since the futures have been added that could add some different types of price movements it could be more of a two-sided market and it may not work as well or it may work better so that's the update on some of the strategies for the cryptocurrencies and what I have available um, if you trade this um, if you, if you use these strategies you have to manually place the trades because there is no automation that I know of between NinjaTrader and um, Poloniex or a, a, any other cash markets I do have some scripts in Python but they aren't programmed they're just programmed for execution and they don't have any sort of uh, real strategy in them yet but more on that later as well